How do you design something when it's not meant to last? Well, that's the question being explored at Denmark's Craft and Design Beniel in Copenhagen. Hundreds of entries were submitted, but only one was crowned winner and given a prize of $15,000. And the winner is Cult Promises Cult by Lotte Mithius, which took up top honors at Denmark's Craft and Design Biennale. But the artwork has a more tragic origin. After the death of her partner and her daughter being diagnosed with autism, Mithius began to keep the various letters she received from the Danish government. Each letter was enlarged onto traditional textiles and turned into a cult. It's all part of this year's theme, where the Craft and Design Biennale explores the transient, fast-paced and varying nature of modern existence. The theme is uh, liquid life, which is a term coined by the Polish-British sociologist Sigmund Bauman. Uh, he's also the father of the late modernity um, and he describes a society where we constantly have to reinvent ourselves. Constantly we're introduced to a new system that is overtaken by another system six months later making the former system obsolete. And this ongoing process of ever-changing system slowly wears us down as citizens. When it comes to design, participants have often combined old and traditional techniques with new experimental innovations. This dress by Anne Damgaard combines hand-woven hemp with digital prints and Morphotex polyester. As a professional designer, you rarely have time to delve deep into a subject. You constantly have to create new designs in order to, to save the market. And any design that you create have a very, very short lifespan. Take 20, 20 30 years ago, you'd have an average lifespan of a design which would be 10, 15, maybe even 20 years. Today, this is about two years. These intricate porcelain creations also explore the ever-changing world of technology. So I have been modeling an object in my hand and then it has been 3D scanned, this 3D object, and then uh, based on a design of an algorithm, a pattern digitally will unfold uh, regarding this uh, hand model object. And that's the pattern we see here. So it's actually uh, a dialogue with technology, with me, the hand model object, as an input. The Biennale for Craft and Design runs at Copenhagen's Museum building until May 27th. And this year, organizers are hoping to push designers to show a humanistic approach to modern challenges. <laughs>